Horses are on the track for DuCoin's 10th race. Win, play, show, exact, a wagering. The time dancer for Illinois bred three-year-old pacing fillies. The first of two divisions, $17,500 per division for the purse. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Decent Lawyer Scratch. The 1A Please Me Sleazy, owned by Marty Engel of Buffalo Grove. Trained by Ken Rucker, Tony Morgan in the bike. Number two, She's All Sporty, owned by Bart Seals of Altamont, by Sean Nessa from right here in DuCoin, and trained by Sean Nessa, the driver Dave McGee. Number three is Finance the Farm, who is owned by Donald Laufenberg of Highland, Wisconsin, trained by Lloyd Dalton, the driver Ron Marsh. Number four, Fox Valley Lady Doc is scratched. Number five, Fox Valley Trixie is owned by Brandy Pinsky of Downers Grove, trained by her father, Nelson Willis. The driver is Dale Heitman. Number six, Southside Hussey, owned by Dick Hess of Concord and Jeff Driscoll of Carrollton. Jeff Driscoll, the trainer, and Eric Ledford, the driver. And number seven is Macy Wave, owned by Jim Scherer and Oren Miles of Alney, Illinois, trained by Irvin Miller, his brother Andy Miller, driving. Race 10 at DuCoin is coming up in only three minutes. Three minutes till post. They're at the post, fast. and the gate is rolling for race 10. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Southside Hussey goes out for the early lead. She's all sporty is right there and finance the farm. Comes away racing in the third position, followed by Please Me Sleazy, then Fox Valley Trixie, and Macy Wave settles at the back as they race toward the quarter mile mark. She's all sporty, has the lead for a moment. Now Southside Hussey moves up. She's still parked, and now she gets the lead. Southside Hussey takes over by two lengths at the quarter. She's all sporty, goes second by a length, then finance the farm, and please me, Sleazy, the opening quarter, 28 and 2. And here comes She's all sporty. She wants that lead right back. She's all sporty is up to get the lead once again by a length from Southside Hussey. Finance the farm, takes to the outside third, and here comes the Illinois State Fair champion from Springfield. Finance the farm is up to challenge She's All Sporty, the State Fair runner-up from two weeks ago, and they go one-two once again at the half. Southside Hussey is racing in third, a gap of over three more lengths back to Please Me Sleazy, then Fox Valley Trixie and Macy Wave is last. They got the half in 56 and won. Finance the Farm has made the top by a length. She's all sporty second by two. Southside Hussey is racing in third by two. Then Please Me Sleazy, Fox Valley Trixie, and Macy Wave midway on the far turn. Finance the Farm leads it by a length. She's all sporty has chased this filly. Her last couple of starts, she's right there second. Southside Hussey comes off the rail from third. And then Fox Valley Trixie racing in fourth. Three quarters, 124 and three. Finance the Farm had a devastating kick at Springfield in the stretch. She still leads it by a length and a half. She's all sporty. And then Fox Valley Trixie and Southside Hussey into the stretch. Finance the Farm leads. She's all sporty by a length and a half. Now by two lengths, three lengths clear. Then Fox Valley Trixie, please me, sleazy toward the rail. And Macy Wave on the grandstand side. Macy Wave with a rush. But Finance the Farm hangs on by a half length. Macy Wave was home second. The time for the mile, one minute, 52 and two-fifths seconds. Finance the Farm is owned by Donald Laufenberg of Highland, Wisconsin, trained by Lloyd Dalton and driven by Ron Marsh. Don Laufenberg bred this incredible finale filly. She wins in 152 and 2, and Ed Teefee, the president of the Illinois Standard Bread Owners and Breeders Association out of Mount Sterling, Illinois, and a horseman himself is going to make the trophy presentation. Folks, have for the winner of the Time Dancer, Finance the Farm. It is official, the result, 3-7 exact of $48.20 as the rain begins to fall at DuCoin. Track condition still fast. We'll update you if there's any change in that track condition. Let's talk to Ed Teepee real quickly. Ed, president of the Illinois Standard Bread Owners and Breeders Association. Ed, exciting weekend. The World Trotting Derby coming up tomorrow. All those Illinois bread finals. Racing at DuCoin is still very much a treat, isn't it? For sure, uh, Kurt. There's something special about coming down here. I think everybody from across the state and, frankly, across the country that follows the standard bread business uh, has a soft place in their heart for DuCoin.
And tomorrow we've got an Illinois-owned horse. No Illinois-bred horses, but uh, Irvin and Andy Miller have teamed up with owners Bill Wright and Donald Coleman with Mighty Moses, a Kentucky-bred colt. Always adds an extra dimension to that race as well, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, in, in the top hands, of course, Irvin Miller's got a national reputation, and the, the owners of that fine colt have had uh, horses in the past like Dream Master that uh, competed uh, very uh, successfully on the national scene, and we here in Illinois, of course, wish them the best, Kurt. Absolutely. Ed, thanks for joining us. I, I think there's a saying about people that are too stupid to get in out of the rain, so I think we better head out. Ed, thanks a lot. Folks, the rundown coming up next.